What valid reasons do you think you have for not starting that YouTube channel or creating that video for your business? Do you have challenges with your background? Do you think your background is not artistically pleasing enough for the kind of video you want to make? If that's the issue, then you should keep on watching because I've got a solution for you. What you are going to learn in this video will help you create any kind of background at all for the kind of videos you want to make. And what you'll be needing is just two tools to achieve that. So if you want to achieve this kind of background or something like this, like the background you are seeing here, you are going to be needing two tools to achieve that. So when making your video, you should make sure that the room is well lit. You need your room to be very bright. So when you are working on your video, you get a good result. And secondly, your phone should be stable. You need a tripod. You don't need somebody holding the phone for you, trying to record you because it's going to affect the video. So you need a tripod to keep your phone in one place. One, you need a lit room. Two, you need a tripod to keep your phone in one place. And you need the two software that you're going to be using to edit your video. The software that you're going to be using for this video is Canva and CapCut. So let's dive right into the video. So the first tool we are going to be using in this video is the Canva. So if you don't have the Canva in your phone yet, you can go to your Play Store or your App Store to download it. So when you get into your Canva, you click on the search bar and type YouTube thumbnail. Pick the blank one that has the plus sign. So it's going to take you to the workspace. You're going to click on this plus sign right here and you click on elements. So if you scroll down, you see AI image generator. So you can click on this plus sign that says generate your own. You click on it and you can actually generate your own AI background. So this place right here is a description box where you can describe the kind of background that you want. So I'm going to describe something that we can use. So this is what I want the AI to generate for me. So after typing what you want, then you can click on generate image. So it's going to generate at least four images for you that you can pick from. So if you want the four images, you can download them. After generating what you describe in the description box, if you don't like what it generated for you, you can click on generate again to regenerate another one for you. So these are the pictures that it generated for me. So if you want to pick any one, just click on it to pick it. So I'm going to be picking this one. So it's going to transfer to your blank workspace. So if you want to make it fill the workspace, you can use this right here to stretch it out. So you stretch it out to fill in the workspace like this. Then you can adjust it anyhow you want. So this is what I want. So when you are done, you can save it. Just click on this right here. So you can actually do as many as you want, depending on what you want. So the next tool we are going to be using to complete our edit is the CapCut. So when you get to your CapCut app, you click on this plus sign to add a new project. So first of all, you go to the photo side, you add the picture, then you go to the video side and pick your video. After picking the two of them, you click on add to add them as a new project. Then you click on your video and make it an overlay. You drag it beneath the picture. Make sure that you stretch your picture to the duration of your video. So after doing that, you highlight your video on your timeline. Then scroll down to remove BG. Click on remove BG and remove the background from your video. So after removing the background from your video, you can actually adjust it anyhow you want. Then you can click on your picture, which is now the background. You scroll down to opacity. You can reduce the opacity if you want, or if you don't want to reduce the opacity, you can leave it like that. Another way to make it look better is to go to your effects 
you click on effects click on video effects and click on lens after clicking on lens then you pick blur so i'm going to pick this blur then you can adjust your blur you adjust it so it's, it's not looking too blurry so they can still see the background so instead of you to use opacity you can still use blur so i prefer to use the blur so after adding the blur make sure you adjust it so people can still see how the background looks like so you make sure you extend the blur effect throughout the video so after doing that your video is ready as you can see this is how the video looks like so you can actually get any kind of background you want so before you start your video make sure you have enough light to brighten your video the reason why you need enough light to brighten your video is because when you remove the background if your video is not properly lit it's going to be glitching and you don't want that people will notice that you did something it's not going to be looking natural you want a perfect and natural video so that's why you need enough light to make your video as bright as possible if you don't have the specified light and you want to really make that video you can just open your windows face your window and make your video use the natural light you are going to get a perfect result to an extent so make sure your video is bright and your phone is stable put it on a tripod and you'll get a perfect result if you found this video helpful don't forget to like hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified when we drop amazing videos like this if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section and we will attend to them see you in our next video bye